Hey everyone, welcome back to the Who's Smoking channel on this cold winter's day. Today we're doing a three-way comparison with some popular meat thermometers. First is the brand new Meter 2 Plus. Then we have the Temp Spike from Thermapro, the twin edition. And then we have the Typher Sync. So I'll be breaking down the comparison in three ways. The first is cooking experience. How do these units compare to each other when it comes to using the app and the hardware? The next is the real world range test. I wanna put these three against each other to see which one of them performs best when the probe is in an open space versus an enclosed space on the cooker. And lastly, I'm gonna talk about my overall pick and how I came to that conclusion. So first, let's start with the all new Meter 2 Plus. This comes with the signature and iconic bamboo base that we're used to, but the probe has been upgraded now with all new materials helping it to withstand higher temperatures. The probe is also thinner than before, but the biggest news of all is that Meter now has a total of six temperature sensors built into this thing. One for ambient and five dedicated for internal measurements to get a better reading. The internal sensors have an accuracy range of plus or minus 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit, and in my opinion, they have one of the best apps in the game. It's clean and it's very easy to use. The only downside that I ran into with the Meter 2 Plus is that the Bluetooth range was simply not enough for me to maintain signal with my phone as I walked around the house. Meter does have a workaround for this and it's called Meter Link, which allows you to use an extra iOS or smart device to create a relay into their cloud so you can get that signal eventually to your phone, but I didn't have the time or the desire to do something like that. As of this video, the retail price for the Meter 2 Plus is $120 US for one probe. So next up is the Temp Spike from Thermapro. This twin unit comes with two probes, a rechargeable base that charges with USB-C, and a nifty digital display that cycles through your internal and external probe settings. I really like the ability to see the readings on the base so I don't have to take my phone out every time. And that feature alone makes it a clear advantage over the Meter 2 Plus. Keep in mind that the display is for monitoring only, so you'll still need the Temp Spike app to do the initial cooking setup. In my tests, the Temp Spike was within their advertised plus or minus 1.8 degrees for internal readings, and their iOS app for the most part did the job. I have to point out though that in this comparison, the Temp Spike app lacks the same polish from Meter and Typher, and the plastic base does feel a little cheap and less durable. Functionally, however, it more than does the job, and at $180 retail for these two probes, this makes the Temp Spike the most affordable option per probe in our lineup. All right, y'all, last but certainly not least, we have the Sync from Typher. The base unit is rechargeable via USB-C, uses mostly metal construction with a large digital display, and houses two probes on the back. And while the probes don't have the same maximum heat tolerances as the Meter 2 Plus, these probes also have a total of six sensors built in, with five being dedicated to internal and one for ambient. The accuracy of the internal sensors is the same as Meter, at plus or minus 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. But unlike the others here, the Typher Sync allows you to set up your entire cook from the standalone base unit. In other words, no app is required. But for me, an even bigger deal is that the base unit is already Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled, so I can monitor my cook from anywhere right out of the box. I found the app to be very clean and have a minimalist feel, and I didn't run into any issues during this test. The Typher Sync is the most expensive of the bunch and has a premium price point of $230 US. But depending on how you look at it, it is still cheaper per probe than the Meter 2 Plus. So it took a while to get to our range test, but I'll make this pretty quick. I took all three units out to a nearby park and used my measuring wheel to see how far I could get before losing connection to my phone. The Meter 2 Plus exceeded its advertised range and stayed connected for 265 feet. The temp spike surprisingly reported half of what was advertised and I got 242 feet. And lastly, the Typher Sync achieved 382 feet before dropping out. The only thing I'll note here is that in my previous tests with the temp spike single units, I was able to get closer to that 500 feet number that they claim. So the last thing I did here was to test how far the base unit could be from the enclosed cooker before the signal gave out. This wasn't too scientific, but I can tell you that all three units made it to the front door of my home, with the exception of the Typher Sync. That one stayed connected even when I crossed the street to my neighbor's driveway. 
Now, when it comes to these range tests though, please take it with a grain of salt. A bunch of things can affect the distance and reliability of your connection. All right, everybody, so we are at the end of the video. If you found this video helpful or informative, please consider pressing the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, if you do decide to buy one of these based on this video, I would love it if you clicked on one of the affiliate links in the description. Those links don't change how much you pay, but Amazon does give me a little kickback uh, if you use those links. All right, so Tempspike had the great display that I really like and the two probes. The meter was stellar because it has the highest temperature rating and has the thinner probe, great battery life and app. But if you were to ask me to pick between these three, I would have to hands down pick the Typer Sync. The Typer Sync has the display. It's a standalone unit, meaning I don't have to use the app if I don't want to. It has two probes. Each probe has also the five additional internal sensors right here, just like the new meter uh, two plus and the ambient sensor, of course and it has built-in Wi-Fi. So I don't have to work with another iOS device or another smart device to get the readings on my phone anywhere I am. So I would say for 230 bucks retail, you're getting actually a lot more than what you're paying for. And it's actually a little bit more cost effective than the Meter 2 Plus. But can you make a wrong decision? I don't think so. They all do the job. Um, Temp Spike is not as accurate, but it is definitely the budget choice that checks all the boxes. The Meter 2 Plus, I mean, if you already bought into the Meter ecosystem, then you know you might want to just stick with Meter because then you can just use the same app for everything. Or if you're like me and you have a little bit of everything around the house and you just want something that checks all the boxes, like literally all the boxes, then you're looking at something like this, the Typer Sync. Okay, so again, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching the video and for your support of the channel. Until next time, who's This is brisket. It's brisket.